This is Adric Don, CEO of Ameris Aviation, here today with uh, York Delon, uh, taking delivery of an absolutely superb machine. Thank York, you. It is awesome to be with you. Thank you. Likewise, it's been an amazing day so far. My experience is just my flights today have been a really positive experience. So, awesome. thank you. Thank you. It's wonderful. So, just to give you a practical, uh, additional understanding of what you already know about your ceramic coating. This is done on a hardness grade, so you have a, what's called the TX9 in our books, which is the ultimate. We okay. actually did not invent it, invent it originally because we thought it was just impractical because it's so hard, so okay. elevated. But it, you now have this as a, a desert grade impact resistance to the projection of the blades, right? And uh, your whole front of your helicopter runs as a TX9, so you have this on the nose as well. So when you say desert grade, it's yeah. just because I'm going to be in sand? Yes. Okay. Yes. That makes sense. Because I am in sand and it does kick out. That's right. And so inevitably, uh, you're going to pick things. Yep. Uh, mostly the sand, the dust, throw it back on the transparency. It's how the, the pitting that we saw when you bought the machine, okay, which was generalized. Yes. Uh, insignificant. Insignificant. Um, we're not even referring to the nature of wiping, it's just the nature of flying that impacts the helicopter. Mm -hmm. and, and that basically is now under the shell of 40 microns of ceramic. And to what standard? One. 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 So, oh, and then the so final installation, let's call it a, a very good company. Yes. We'll go as high as five to six. Okay. Uh, here again. again so, I, so, this is like eight times the thickness. It of is. Right. It is. Great. And where we have brought disruptive innovation is that normally in the world of ceramic, you cannot organize crystals in a satisfactory way, not in a visual optical high def right. to such thickness. It starts to disorganize okay. and not molecularly bond normally. Like they Does do it wood. distort the image or something yep. when looking through it? It would, look, it, gets... it would feel like looking through fog uh, or okay. through milk. All well, right. I did not have that experience flying today. That's wonderful. <laughs> so we're just going to walk you very quickly. Okay. Your landing gear is also coated uh, in TX8. So everything past this uh, receive uh, an average of 20 up to 30 microns on the tail boom. Okay. okay. So the same thing against regular standard. Uh, we are about four times thicker here. It's a three and a half here and four and a half uh, on the back. So why do we do this? Because we want to, this is an area that's a lot of duress and a lot of uh, heat. Just, yeah, and this, there's a lot of soot that comes out of that. A lot of soot. Yes. And uh, so same thing with your heat shield. Uh, receives actually an HCL elevated 60 microns, so even higher oh, than the tail boom. Okay. okay? Because, because of the heat, because of the accumulation, because of the necessary motion to clean that. By the way, did you, did, have you cleaned this since I went flying? Uh, no, we haven't. We just looked at it. I put about five hours of flight time on this and today. Wow. Is that fair to say that? I'm, I am not. I mean, I haven't wiped a white shirt on it, but I can, there's visibly, I cannot see any carbon buildup. And that is not normal. So it's your finished drawn. Um, as well is treated in the same category of HCL. Uh, it's an HCL4, so it's about 25 microns. Uh, everything is done but the blades. Okay. This is part of the future developments, but oh, not yet. Good. Okay. Yeah. Put me on top of your list when you do it. <laughs> so basically, yeah, we arrived to the same conclusion here, which is the worst pop wash area where we would have the most accumulation. Yeah, right here, normally. And, it gets uh, really messy. We don't have anything. Uh, same thing, this is treated as an HCL up there for the reason you're going to be opening this up and down. Uh, yes. The mechanics are going to be working on it. So it provides additional resilience over time so you don't develop swirls. Okay. Uh, this, because your machine was built from scratch, the gear was off. Yes. So we were able to work deep inside every single painted area as we see the hyper Oh, so even on the black skid tubes? The black skid tubes, the rails. Um, the fairings uh, under and above and even your paddles if you could just give us a quick reminder of the equipment that Neurotech canada has installed for you on this build from green which are right. okay i mean i could take an hour but i'll try to do it in less than 15 20 okay. seconds of, of course they, they did paint the painted the whole exterior and of course the windscreens um, but 
these seats are all brand new leather and mm -hmm. super soft, super supple, pretty cool. Um, this is a beautiful here. element, beautiful and, design. And th th this floor covering, um, it's yeah. it's a new product. You usually only see it like in Gulfstream galleys, oh, wow. like, you know, of, of all the Gulfstream products. But um, a lot has been put in to that dashboard right there. Mm -hmm. um, completely new avionics. It's the uh, Garmin G 500 TXI, the 750 XI, the mm -hmm. 650 XI, the Helisas two axis autopilot um, has been put in there. Um, this and is a very customized mm -hmm. um, camera systems. Oh, and yes. um, how many cameras do you have? So, I mean, if you include, if I have my camera arm on, there's one, two, three, four, and then the high vis camera on the bottom is five cameras oh, wow. that you can scroll through or see all at the same time on the Garmin instrumentation. That there. is tremendous. So it is a very, it's a very high tech uh, machine and it all works. And it all <laughs> works. They did a great job. Uh, Eurotech is absolutely uh, an exceptional company when it comes to uh, this level of VIP completion. That's the first also on an H130. Yes. We had never protected the inside of the doors. Oh, really? And we, that was, that was hard to do. I'm not going to lie to you, but we carried the hardness of the window, which is a, again, a TX9 and carried it all around all the way down okay, to maximize the scratch resistance. And I think you also mentioned that you did do a, a ceramic protection on the leather and on the yes, floor covering. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so re you really have a constant, uh, consistent throughout sealed interior okay so it's a little bit different than the paintwork sure where you have a super surface yes. thick hard bond molecularly bonded this one is a different procedure that uh, looks at feeling the pores of your material uh -huh. and and being hydrophobic so it's gonna uh, it's gonna be uh, if one day somebody drops any form of drinks or it'll during repel the work it. it'll repel it you'll wipe it off it'll just roll right off okay very good and same thing with uh if someone has a uh, a pencil, pencil marks, things of the like, or, or jeans, simply jeans in the desert, you're, you're sure. hot, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it stains it and yep. uh, ends up depositing some. Uh, well, whatever you put on it, you wipe it I didn't tell it before, but it is like super soft still. <laughs> so and it's amazing. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so satchels, by the way, are done also inside. Oh, okay. Because we wanted to make sure that they are quadruple coated on this side to make sure that where the feet oh, marks, there's a lot of happening. Of okay. course. Your rails have received also a hardened, uh, re, sorry, uh, cured coating uh, okay. set off the helicopter. So it protects the beautiful finish that your tech has put there. It is beautiful. I, I absolutely adore your- Yeah, customized. Your branding. Uh, engraved right here. You know, just, they just little details like that all over the helicopter. Absolutely stunning. This is going to be a very uh, public machine. Yes. Yes.